Dr. Brody. We're here at the Brain Health Institute. I'm here with the famous Dr. Joe Masuri. When did I become famous? Just now. Thank you so yeah. much. Just, that's all I mean. You're famous. That's, I'm going to say by right. now. That's all I mean. Actually, you're infamous. Of course. But famous will do for now. All right. So what we're talking about is how to prevent stroke and how to prevent Alzheimer's as best we can. We can forestall it and we can decrease the intensity of it. And what we do at Brain Health Institute, which is a as a division of Brain Matters Research, and we're the largest you know, private Alzheimer's research center in the country, is we're trying to stop the diseases, stop stroke. We're trying to not have to deal with a horse after it's out of the barn. So we've been talking about blood pressure, and we're talking about some of the things, the innovative things that we're doing at Brain Health Institute. And I think my perspective is somewhat of a unique one, because because I come you know I come from both backgrounds. Well, I don't I don't think people know that. Um, I bet you there aren't a dozen of you in the country. Yeah, those are my brothers. Yeah. Well, yeah, and they are. Yeah. <laughs> and what we mean is that Dr. Brody has actually had an extensive interventional stroke experience and headed really one of the first programs in South Florida, wasn't it, Mark? It first was. Hospital yeah. First. Yeah. at the Bethesda Memorial. I burnt a lot of cylinders. <laughs> <laughs> and um, nine years now in, in clinical research for Alzheimer's, yeah. is it? Is it I can't years? recall exactly. But, you know, I have some memory no. difficulty, but I'm working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're taking your medicine. Yeah, I'm taking my medicine. But this is a very, very unique man in terms of his experience. Uh, very few physicians have a research experience and a clinical application experience in two of the most devastating brain disorders, stroke, brain disease, and Alzheimer's, the number one brain degenerative disease in the world, and certainly in the United States, right. and almost pushing to epidemic levels, isn't the it? The silver tsunami is what we call it. Yeah. Here, we're here in Palm Beach County, beautiful yeah. Palm Beach County. We have about 1.2 million people. We have about 56,000 diagnosed cases of Alzheimer's. Anywhere from six to eight hasn't been diagnosed yet. We're talking about filling up the orange bowl with Alzheimer's patients. Exactly. So this is, it is endemic. And we have, a, we have what we think is an, uh, one of the most innovative programs in the United States in which we tailor a program to you. And what we're really concentrating on is on first degree relatives, people in the 45 to 65 who have had a parent who's got Alzheimer's or a stroke, and they've been face to face with the beast, as mm -hmm. it were. Right? right. And they don't want to get this. And they've been, you know, they're, they're people who've been investing for their future, but have they been investing in their, their brain future, in their own cognitive portfolio, as it were? So what do we do? We have you come in. We do very sophisticated blood work. We have you f fill out a questionnaire. We do neuropsychometric testing. We do a spec scan of your brain that looks at your blood flow of your brain and the function of your brain. And then we tailor a program based on modifying your risk factors, whether it's stress management, which it usually is, because you're stressed, aren't you? Because not you at the moment. Me out sometimes. Well, this does happen. And then blood pressure, which we look at fastidiously. Your cholesterol, your good cholesterol, your bad cholesterol, the one in between, the right. triglycerides, the inflammatory markers in your vessels the thing we call metabolic syndrome, the, pre, the pre-diabetes that is also endemic, that goes along with the fact that we're, we're all fat. And I, look, I, I talked to my doctor the other day and I said, you're so thin. He said, I'm normal weight, you're all fat. Well, things can change. Things always change. Of course. You know how that works. They I, would, I would like to add to what you're saying. Not only do we test the ordinary risk factors that most of you are aware of, but we're looking at molecules that, because of the research effort here and Mark's background in stroke, we're looking at molecules and vasoactive proteins that others are not looking at that may be very, very important. Homocysteine we mentioned right. in one of our previous talks. Right. We're looking at things that make the blood thick that make the blood fatty, right. in addition to making the blood pressure high and making our sugar high, things that we all are very familiar with. There are things that make the blood thick, make it inflammatory, right. or make it too fatty. Many, many molecules. And we're gonna build, I believe, a longitudinal tr track on a number of risk factors that will, I think, and you think as well, 
will become very, very important markers to be treated. And when we say markers, they're things that alert us to high risk, but not only are they markers, they're also they're players in the game. They don't just signal a problem, they're part of the problem. And over the next few years that we build a much larger base of data, we'll will have, I think, here at the Brain Matters Institute, one of the best compilations of risk data, both measurable and quantifiable on the one hand, and based on neuropsychometrics and personal risk, uh, the stress you, background. You, you have a way with words. <laughs> well, let me tell people how we're going to do this. So, what we're using technology. Technology is, you know, useful. It gives us accessibility. It gives us uh, the ability to monitor people and their blood pressure and their pulse and their blood sugars remotely. So they don't have to come in a right. few times a day. Right. We, we need to look at blood pressures not just once, but multiple times a day. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. And, our, and what, what, how do we do this? Well, we have a scale that you go home with that connects wirelessly to, to, to your computer and we upload it and we track it and your pulse and your blood sugar. And we are looking at your blood pressure. We're, we're following you. No, don't be paranoid. I'm not following you because you're already paranoid. And <laughs> we have a video phone. It's like a bat phone but bigger. And when we're trying to figure out how you're doing, and we're following your weight, and you're putting in the iPad, how does this get you? What you ate every day. Do you know why I'm, pa do why I'm paranoid? Because no. all the things you're following, I'm paranoid that they're chasing me inside my body. They are. They're going to hurt me. I don't want to sound like Kramer on Seinfeld. Right. Remember, he was bobbing his head. He yeah. always felt he was paranoid. Yeah. There's a good reason to be paranoid about what are the molecules circulated in our blood. Isn't that right? Well, apparently so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, isn't that why we're here? But the side pad. Yes, of course. Yeah, I know you're not a, you're not a walk down a digital Isn't that a new market. technology? Yeah. Um, but this little pad here, yeah. right? We have actually designed programs tailored for the for a particular person who's mm -hmm. in our, mm -hmm. in, you know, in the Brain Health mm -hmm. Institute mm -hmm. preventative program, mm -hmm. for them workouts. Mm -hmm. 10 minute workouts, really? cognitive training, cognitive workouts, workouts for your brain, because you can exercise this the muscle the between your ears. Is, you this, is this more advanced than my dial telephone at home? <laughs> I do. Yeah, it's more advanced. You, we can actually, you input what you, you write down what you eat. Some people have to type it in. <laughs> and we monitor, what's your weight? If you said you ate four peas this week and you gained five pounds, something's not adding up. Somebody, so, somebody's lying. Now we're getting on the video phone and we're talking because you got to do this. It's a, everybody, you know, everybody says, you know what, if you want to be healthier, eat less and exercise more. But we have a billion dollar industry of people who have to take you by the hand and try to get you to eat better and exercise more. Right. Well, we're doing this with you. Right. And with we're also you. sympathetic because we know a lot of people do what I do. We eat more and exercise less. So we're, we're understanding. We're going to be partners to you and our whole program. And we have a team that will help you. So not only is there good science, and we're going to let you be part of longitudinal work that is going to be, I think, groundbreaking in terms of strategies five or 10 years right. from now. But we're going to help be partners in motivating you. Isn't, motivating. That, what you're, isn't that what you're saying? Yeah, because you got to show up and you got to do it. And well, you got to check in at least with the yeah. technology. At and least we, check in. And we are watching you. We are watching you. Yeah. So it's okay to be paranoid. Should we because, follow them home? Because we're after you. Yes, sir. Should we follow them home? I don't know. I don't have a car, do you? <laughs> 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 so as we go on, I'm going to talk a, a lot about stress. Are we going to talk a lot about stress? I feel we should. Yeah. You yeah. know that Han Selye guy? Talked a lot about stress. F f from Canada. F yeah. Famous Originally guy from, from Canada. Canada. Han yeah. Selye. Yeah. He said there was good stress and bad stress, and a lot of it had to do with how we dealt with it. Right. How and, are we doing? And there is good stress and bad stress. How are we doing? I don't know. I'm pretty stressed right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, our producer says we only have one minute. Yes. Yeah. I'm not That's the stress. That's, That's time pressure. Me up. That's He's time. putting us under time pressure. It's a very serious stress for you yeah. folks out there. I don't know what to Isn't do, it? Because I think we only have 37 yes, seconds left. we do. Yeah. So you're going to have, you're going to have what? Olive oil tonight? And a few extra virgin first pressed. Yeah, part of our part of our Mediterranean diet. Right here. Right. 
we, we know we would be healthier if we could actually live in the Mediterranean. <laughs> Right? Or we'll live in the moment. Can we all put an office there? Actually, we have no time left. Did you, can't even live in the Did you put an office there? I can. Thank you. Some coffee? Yeah, you know, I would love it. I will live longer. Well, we've got we to leave you now. <laughs> <laughs>